The freehand tool allows you to draw shapes like you can with a pen or pencil. The toolbar contains a number of settings for this tool. By default, the Auto Weld, Auto Fill, and Auto Stroke options are checked. The Auto Close option is unchecked. Make sure you're drawing at frame 0 when you draw. Your tool will not draw on frame 1 or above. Also make sure that you have the correct layer selected before you start to draw, and that it is a vector layer, or this tool will be disabled. Expand the Freehand Options menu in the toolbar. You'll notice a Variable Line Width option that controls the width of the stroke as you draw. With None selected, your stroke will maintain the same width throughout. If you have a tablet, choose Use Pen Pressure. The width of the line will vary depending on how much pressure you put on the pen. The amount of variation is set in the Width Variation field. If you want to vary the width of the stroke when using a mouse, choose Random. You'll notice that the line will get thicker and thinner as you draw it. Check the Taper Start and Taper End options if you want to taper the ends of the stroke. Uncheck the options to create blunt ends. Click your mouse and begin drawing. Draw a shape and then let go to complete the shape. You'll create an open curve. You won't be able to fill open shapes. Auto Fill and Auto Stroke work the same as they do with other tools. If you turn Auto Fill off, it won't create a fill. If you turn Auto Stroke off, it won't create a stroke. The Fill and Stroke colors are determined by the settings in the Style window and are selected in the Color Picker. The next shape you create will use that style. Now check the Auto Close option and draw another shape. When you release the mouse, the shape will automatically connect to the beginning of the curve. Auto Close is nice because you don't have to worry about moving your cursor exactly on the start point to close the shape. You can also keep adding on to shapes with the freehand tool. Turn Auto Close off. You'll see a little red dot when you move your cursor over a curve. That shows where the new curve will connect to the existing shape. After you draw the shape, you can switch to the Translate Points tool to refine it. When you move the new shapes around, you can see where they are attached to each other. You can continue to add shapes with the Freehand tool and refine with the Translate Points tool. Choose File Preview or press Ctrl-R on a PC or Command-R on the Mac. Anime Studio will produce the final output or render in a separate window and you'll see the varied line widths.